Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this sliding menu bar to your blogger website. Now, in my previous video, I had shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And this is how it works. By default, we will have this uh, menu displayed over here. And if I click on this, we will have this complete menu displayed over here. And if I click on this once again, it goes back. Now, with this menu, we also have this content moving down. So here we can see all the content of the website moves down. So in this video, we're going to add this to our blogger website and I will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So you can just go ahead and copy and paste it to your blogger website. So let's get started. All right, here I'm in the dashboard of my blogger website. So let's go ahead and click on view blog. And this is how our website looks right now. And I'm using this theme called Contempo. So if you go over here to themes, you can see that this is the theme that I'm using right now. It comes by default with Blogger. All right, now let's go ahead and add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript to our theme code. So let's click on this button and click on edit HTML. And let's search for the beginning of the body tag. So I'll just press command F or control F and we'll just search for the body tag. And here we can see this is the body tag. Now here I'll just add the HTML, so I'll just make some space over here. And let's go to our source code. And let's go to the HTML. Now I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. Now you have to copy the sliding menu container division. So let's start from here and till here. So I'll just select all of this. And let's copy and paste it in our blogger theme code. So I'll just paste it over here. Alright, the HTML has been copied. Now let's paste the CSS. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to the style.css file. And we need to copy everything from here. Now we need to change the content selector to something else that we have in our blogger theme. But for now, let's copy everything and let's paste it in our blogger theme code. So let's go back to our blogger website and let's scroll up. And let's find the CSS. So here we can see all the CSS of our theme. I'll just make some space over here. And let's paste the CSS over here. All right, now the last thing we need to copy is the JavaScript. So let's go back and let's go to our main.js file and I'll just copy everything from here and uh, let's scroll down and here just before the body ends I'll just make some space over here and let's create a script tag and I'll just paste the JavaScript in here All right now let's go ahead and click on save and let's go to our website and let's refresh this page and if we scroll down, we can see that the menu is displayed over here briefly. So we need to add a Z index to our menu bar so that it is above all the other elements. So let's go back and let's go to the CSS. And here for the sliding menu container, let's add a Z index. So here I'll just type Z index and I'll just set it to, let's say 100 and let's save it. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see that the menu is displayed over here. And if I click on this, we have the complete menu displayed over here. But we want to move all this content down with this uh, menu bar. So let's right click over here and uh, let's click on inspect. And here we can see we have all these elements. Now we can select any of these elements from here, which are the container elements and we can move it down. I'll just select the body. And uh, if we add some margin top over here, so I'll just tap margin top. Let's add a margin top of 100 pixels. And now we can see that the complete website moves down. So we need to select the body and move it down. Now let's click on this menu once again and let's see how many pixels we need to move it down. Let's right click over here and click on inspect. And uh, let's go to the body. And uh, let's decrease the margin top. And we can see that 65 pixels looks all right. So let's go back to our theme code and uh, let's go to the CSS. And here we can see in our code, we had a division with a class of content. So if we go back to our code and if we go to the HTML, we can see that we have created this division with a class of content. And in that we have all this content for our website. So if we go back to our design, here we can see all this content is inside the content division. Now in our blogger website, we don't have this division with a class of content. So we have to select the body. So here, instead of content, I'll just type body. And we don't need to add any of this uh, CSS over here. We just need to add the transition. And then here, instead of content, I'll just type body. 
Now we also need to make the changes in our JavaScript. So let's scroll down. And here in the JavaScript, we are selecting the content. So we need to change this to body. And we also need to change the margin top to 65 pixels. So let's scroll up and go to the CSS. And here we can see we have a margin top of 187. So let's change this and let's set it to 65 pixels. And let's save it. Now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And let's click on this menu button. And now we can see we have the menu displayed over here and the content of the website has moved down. And if I click on this once again, it goes back up. So everything is working all right. Let's go into a post. And here we can see in the post also we have this menu item. Let's click on this and everything is working all right. Even the hover effects are working all right. So that's basically how you add a sliding menu bar to your blogger website. Now if you want to learn how to design this from scratch, I have a video on that. I will leave the link in the description of this video and I will also leave the link of the source code. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.